There are a lot of ways to make money and escape from Tarkov, and throughout this story you're going to see some of my favorites as I explain exactly what I'm doing, which brings us to my first tip. Never underestimate the power of a basic weapon with good ammunition. It'll bite ya. <laughs> wow. One of the ways I love making money in EFT is to farm factory using cheap loadouts with strong ammunition. If you die, you don't lose much and you have a lot to potentially gain. But it's not the other PMC's gear I'm after, however, though we'll of course upgrade into their kits as we go and grab anything of value. The main way I like to make money on factory is by bringing a nearly empty documents case with just a factory key in it and 15 open slots. I'll elaborate more on that in a bit. See that animation? That's what I was talking about. It's too slow. Did someone loot this already? Little bastards. Ring around the rosy. <laughs> that guy's like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, will you calm down? I'm trying to loot here. Woo! Glad I did. Where's he jumping? I remember I have another uh, uh, PMC to loot to take the knife. Oh, I did, brother. I always go in without a melee slot, so we can uh, we actually keep this if you die.
So about that documents case, between the safe, jackets, filing cabinets, and the pockets and backpacks of all the AI and player scabs, you can find a lot of awesome stuff to put in there, from loose money to keys, SSDs, flash drives, SAS drives, Bitcoin, GP coin, labs, keys, and more. And of course, if you die, you still keep all that stuff since it doesn't take up any extra space in your secure container besides the docs bag itself. This is why you take a docs bag, by the way. Because you can fit all these drives, keys, and shit, and all this money. I literally just do an empty docs bag with a factory key when I come here. Scab players are here. They've been here. I've killed a couple. This was a scab player. Oh, here it comes. When he hits crunchy glass, he's like right here. Hear the crunch, listen for it. We're gonna fight each other. I'm gonna get the thing with big. Let them duke it out. Did not know there were two in here. Gotta be honest. Worth. Guess I could actually grab that. Dude, so much 81k in straight cash in here so far, that's nuts. Where are you, sir? Where's the other guy? That cheap saga served us pretty well, but on to other ways of making money in EFT. Another one of my favorites is to run my scav on larger maps like Reserve or Shoreline. I typically do this with three random viewers from my live chat, but if you don't have people to play with, feel free to join our Discord and ask around in the looking for group section, or just come by my stream and maybe we can get you into one of these scav raids yourself. Links to both of those in the description. The main reason I like these big maps for scav raids is that there are so many loot spots on the map, it's almost impossible not to find something good if you search around. You guys didn't even want to come in here. Oh, you already left? Okay. Fair enough. That's for the follows. Uh, Nubis. And off center. Yeah, nice Tetris. Indeed. Oh, wow. Uh, some of this is kind of crap, right? I don't think RJ is really worth that much. I already checked this, but not very thoroughly. I don't know where our boy is. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, wow. You get one half and I get one half. Tetris. А вот тут друган мой бывал точно. Hmm. 
They're definitely fighting upstairs somewhere. Time for the splint. It's like the same fucking kid as me, man. Sort of fast turn. Good ammo on these. Grab that IFAC in a sec. I don't think I have room for it. Oh, I do. That was a labs key, by the way. I think. Yeah! Alright. Hello, Rashala. Now I understand all the noise. I definitely want this ammo. This is fucking insane. Fine. Well, I don't think this goes in here anymore, does it? Probably the Nixora lens. Gonna want that soon. I heard, uh, I just heard another guy mulling around. Hmm. Is he like right there? Yikes. I don't know how I feel about that. That's a really bad spot to loot. rig um he's got an mbss right let's go grab it sounds good wingu yo Polly, thank you for the two months of prime <laughs> much appreciated yeah something happened on the stairs
Thing is, I don't know if we're clear. But I want to switch rigs because, uh, I need this for a quest later. Um, yeah, need this for a quest later, that's why. So. Let's go Vogue first and then double ones of those. These should be found array BTs. The fuck? What happened? I think we should take the scav AKs instead of this. Because, uh, they have found and raid RK3s on them. Those are pretty valuable. And then use scav AKs? That might make sense. Bruh, I don't know if I want to, man. It's such a cool gun. I think that's what we should do. I'll go get some more mags. Oh, the ADAR is awesome, man. It's really good early wipe. We had, we have, a, it's nicely modded the way I like it. It's just a fun gun. So this one, is this full? Yeah, that's good. All right, let's do this then. We've secured the building for now, but who knows who else heard all that noise. What I'm doing here is another great way to make money, however, which is to insurance fraud all your gear somewhere as you pick up things that are comparable to or better than what you brought in. At this point, I've dropped nearly my entire starting loadout to insurance already. I also try to stack as much as I can within extra chest rigs inside my backpack to hold additional items. For example, another Blackrock rig from Mashallah's Guards takes up 12 slots but holds 20, giving us an additional 8 slots of loot to carry out with us. Yeah, I'm working on it. I want the Blackrock too, fuck. Taking the black rock is so greedy, but maybe I should just do it. Fuck it. I do need food, yes. Or anything in one of these. I've seen any energy. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Where are you? 314. It's probably just money.
The scabs tend to open these doors. I'm gonna look for a lunchbox. Sometimes there's a lunchbox in here. Oh, the MP5. I left it on the ground. Ooh. I'll go grab it. So is that guy I killed the one that actually killed all these? No food in here. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you for the bit strike. Dude, I appreciate it. 17. Come on, lunchbox. There can be a lunchbox in these. Okay. Care about an AK at this point. Not enough for the car, even if it is here. Fuck. Where is my X fill? All the way. Hey, guess what? Bro. <laughs> Thank you for the pit shark. What? <laughs> I'll guess. It is here. I don't have enough money. We have to go loot another safe. Dude, Shark, they were the fucking 3,000 bits, man. Jeez, bro. Could be food in here. Otherwise, I'm just taking the car right now. Too fat to jump? Maybe. Oh, I have 42. Could be right. A little bit of money. Is that enough? No. So close. <laughs> Joker, thank you for the nine months, man. You got your you got your golden sprut. Thank you, dude. Sorry, thank you again for the fucking shitload of shitload of bits, dude. Super generous of you. I don't know what to guess though, sure. Billy, thank you for continuing your gifted stuff from Teabag. Thank you, thank you. Can this go in here? I feel like it can. Oh, it can. Energy, 13. It's enough. We're gonna go for the car. There's a lot of ways to make money in this game, and if you just keep surviving raids with a backpack full of just about anything, you'll get richer in no time, whether you prefer PvP or to just loot around. I can't recommend a documents bag enough for looting safes and filing cabinets. Customs and Factory are great places to pick up some cheap keys and do just that, but the strategy more or less works on any map. Don't forget to like the video if you found it enjoyable, follow me on Twitch if you'd like to hang out or see these raids as they happen live, and I'll catch you in the next one.